I'm going to start on our first play of the stretch. It's our outside zone play. We call it a few different ways. We call it the 48, 49. It's usually that or boss. It means we got back on strong safety. We got an extra blocker, it means we're in the eye formation or two back set. Full back can be offset or tight end in motion, but still boss. We can call it 38 and 39, which is two back. 38 and 39 is a one back set under center. We can call it 28 and 29. Can be a one or two back set, but we're in the shotgun. So it's a shotgun play in the 20s, 30s is up under center, one back set. All right, we're going to block it against our four fronts. We're going to block it against the over, which is a three technique, but front side, an under. Uh, over, under, okie. All right, over, under, okie, and stack. All right, block it against those, those fronts right there. All right. We start out. go with uh, stretch 48 boss. We run a stretch 48 boss, we know there's two backs in the back there. All right. Now we can set the full back over here strong or weak and motion in across. We can short Joe motion from here. We can do all kinds of things we want to that back. Uh, let's go with the over front first. We got a three technique. So a seven or six. Backer. Backer here. Alright. Alright, the center should come up. The center should come up in this front right here. He should know he has a tight end to stretch. 48 balls. So we know this back right here, whichever way he comes with the ball snap, he's going to come and block strong safety. Wide out's going to push onto the corner. Okay? So now that means the tight end can stay in the box. This is what we call stay in the box. If we call tray the box, that means the tight end and tackle are going to come off and they're going to work this up to this back or they're going to stay in the box. It's a tray block. Okay? All right, now we talk about tray in the box. That means the tackle and the tight end, they're going to work their tray up. And if this guy jumps hard on the tight end, the tight end's got to lock up outside brush to armpit. The tackle works off onto the back. If the seven, if he works down inside and plays the seven, the tackle has to overtake the tight end, stays on as long as he can, hopefully till that linebacker comes over the top and he can read his backside number and then pop and get him there. The guard is going to stretch and work outside breast to armpit. If you don't want another fucking thing on stretch play, you better understand outside breast to arm. center is going to stretch even though we're going to declare Mike left Mike left that's who the center's got Mike left the center still has to stretch and run this track right here expecting the three technique to spike every time that center runs a stretch play on that three you got a three if he spikes your ass not better be, better not be shot you expect him to sp spike every time if he jumps and plays the guard hard and you continue running your track that backer flows and you pick him up over here at this point in the football 
Backside guard's got an 18-inch cutoff block. Backside tackle, now you can read your area. If this wide out is out wide and the wheel's off or the weak safety's off and out, just go inside here and lock it down. If they got the wheel playing in a hip position, the weak safety playing there in a hip position, then you can work, work it up through it. We call that a sift. You can sift it up through to that back. Sift or lock it down. He is the mic. You don't have to get the mic. The center declared him the mic. That's the mic. Now, if the center would declare Mike Wright, if he said, Mike Wright, I'm going after this front side linebacker, then the back side tackle has to go get that back. That's why it's so important that everybody up there understands where the mic declaration is. You have to understand where we're declaring the mic linebacker and where we're trying to get to with the thumb. All right? All right, again, to understand the whole purpose of the play and to understand what the damn running back's doing. All right, it, can, it doesn't matter. With the, we got a 40, 30, or 20. The running back's reading the same thing. Well, another thing you've got to understand about the stretch play or all of our running plays. There's the football. We're lined up with our hands on the shoestrings of the center. We are back off the football. We're lined up with our hands on the shoestrings of the center. Well, that defensive end can only get as close to you as that ball will allow. So we've got some space. That three technique, he can crowd that ball, but that's all tied that he can get on you. We should have, if we take our good stretch steps and work outside breast to armpit, we should have every one of these guys reach before they know what hit them. They should be reached before they know what hit them. So again, we've got this same look, Center declared Mike left. Mike left because we got the tight end there. We got the fullback on boss. B O S S, boss. Fullback's got boss, strong safety. We are traying the box. The center should call ace me. Boom, me going up to get the mic. Three spikes, I get it, guard comes off. If the guard is here and that backer has a fluid and you can get that, then take it. Do not pass one up, take it. Then the tight end can hold this point, work it, and come off late and get the backside linebacker running across. More than likely, by the time we work outside breast to armpit and get off, this linebacker will probably be standing there. Now you come off and wait and pick me up that backside backer. 18 inch cutoff. Cut off back here, and we all be off and running. The back's going to stretch, run to the ass of the tight end. The running back is reading one to two. He should know right now with a six or seven technique that we're going to take this thing over, and the ball 90% of the time should go outside. The only way that ball won't go outside is if we come off on this seven technique and he plays hard and fights like hell and jumps the tight end and works out the tackles up. He works out, we got this hook, then the ball's coming inside. The ball's coming inside. All right? If we come off and that seven technique works out on that tight, tight end, and the uh, guard works up, I mean tackle works up, and he gets the backer, and now all of a sudden the guard comes off and he hooks up and the three technique runs like hell. The center's up. So one works out, three technique works out, I stretch it. One works out, I find two. Two's running like hell at the guard, I plant my foot, and he jump cuts the ball behind two. That's why the most important block on stretch is the backside people. You get this guy on the ground, our ass is going to gain yardage. But you got to overplay him, it's like shooting birds, man. You go right at it, you're not going to smell him. you got to aim 18 inches past him. It's an 18-inch cutoff block. And we'll go over all that when we go in our fundamentals. That's how we block the over front. If you have an under front, that means we have an oaky look. Guards uncovered on the front side. We've got a 40 look on the back side. All right, we've got a 40 look on the backside. 
if we boss it, we can bring him out here and get on that. A lot of times we might just send him backside as a cutter. So we'll go here, outside breast to armpit, outside breast to armpit. Stretch, deuce me, deuce me. I'm running the track to get to that linebacker. Because I'm running the same track, my tailback's running that wide track to get here. The ball is a wide play. So as soon as that tailback takes off wide, that linebacker's going to take off wide. That's why that guard has to run that angle. The guard has got to deuce me, but he's expecting a spike by that five technique. If he spikes, the guard ought to eat him up, then the tackle will continue up on the back. The tailback's taking off. If we put him back as a cutter, that'll be just called stretch 48. That'll be just stretch 48. If we bring him over here front side and put him up here on the safety, that'll be stretch 48 balls. All right? So if I come off, he spikes, I eat him up, we're up. If this running back takes off, by the time he gets the football, by the time that quarterback seats that football, he needs to know what number one reads doing. If the number one read hooked up on the tackle is working out, now he finds number two. If the center has number two hooked up pretty good, number one runs, you press the line of scrimmage and cut the ball play side into the B gap and run it behind that tackle's block. All right, that's why we have to have hat placement by this time. We've got to get it going. Same thing with this. If he would spike and the guard eats him up, he spikes and the guard eats him up and the tackle's up on the linebacker. I meant the one read went inside, the ball is going there right now. No questions asked. Number one read goes in, ball's outside. Number one read goes out, with two hooked up, ball's in the B gap. Number one works out, guard's up on the linebacker, but the center hooks up on his nose and the nose is running like hell. They're hooked up, they're down here now. They're out here, they're down there. He press it, jump cut the ball back behind two. Looks to me like we probably got a shoot situation back here. Need that cut, shoot, get on the linebacker, and let's make the play. The whole key is the first step was the stretch step. Stretch, semi-cross come, get her head on the outside breast to armpit, outside breast to armpit, right hand strong if we're going right. Everybody here ought to be working right hand strong. Hat placement, hat ought to be there, right hand strong. Hat ought to be there, right hand strong. Hat ought to be here, right hand strong. Hat, right hand, hat, right hand, hat, right. We get that, I guarantee you that fucking thing's out. It's gone. We will gain yardage if you make that block. So we got to shoot on the back side. All right. All right, we got an Oki. We've got an Oki front. And we got balls. Short Joe motion put the full back here. Now we're reading one to two to the nose guard. So we'll stretch outside breast to armpit, stretch outside breast to armpit, deuce me, stretch, run that track to that backer, expect the five to pinch, the five pinches, I overtake it. If the five works out, I go on to the back. We got scoop back. We call this scoop back. Again, it's scoop back because we're scooping for the backside linebacker. We're scooping for the backside linebacker. This guard has to have a good stretch step here and really run that in there and get hat placement on that. If the backer's on and you're lined up, give me an 18 inch cutoff on that and lock it down. Again, the tailback's gonna drop step, head to the ass of the tight end. Quarterback gets in the ball. One, the one read spikes in, ball's in there. The one read widens, we got this hooked up, one read widens, I press it and break it behind that. The one read widens and the two read jumps hard and him in the center are down here, press it and jump cut behind two. So all the success on this place always been 
these front side people, hell, y'all ought to always get a plus. I mean, no matter what you do, you should be right. The work is back here. If the play goes, it's these backside guys that usually make it go. But that's how we're going to block it open. Same thing here. If you got a loose five and they walk the backer off in a hip position, then tighten it down, stretch, one stretch, don't cross over, stretch, work it up on a sift. Boom, if he closes on you, lock it down. If he works up field, sifts it through and gets it back. That's a sift call again. On that back side. Okay. Now we'll get a stack look. safety or whatever, outside breast, armpit, stretch and run the linebacker. If I've got a nine technique and I stretch the run to the sandbagger, again, I expect a spike of the nine. If the nine spike, then I take it over and tight ends on that. So we're working that. If he works out, tight ends got him, I'm going back. He spikes inside, boom. If he's head up to six and he's hanging, then both of us walk his ass off the football. Because he is the number one read. We gotta make him go. I don't care where he goes. If he goes out, if he goes in, or you move him back. Or give his back some kind of read. He's trying to figure out what number one's doing. We stretch, work outside breast armpit. Now, one coaching point on this here. I've had this happen to me. He's got that guy playing in there, and here's the sand. And the tight end comes off and hits and hauls ass. Tackles in there and hits, and then the sand ducks underneath. We're fucked. We're fucked. So the tight end's got to stay till the sand comes over the top. The tight end's got to hang in. Let's get moving on that until the sand comes over. The sand comes over the top. Tight end's got to disengage and go. If we stay here, boom, and the sand don't ever come over the top, the tight end needs to stay because the sand sets and tries to run under the bat. The tackle's got to pop off and get the sand ball and be outside in it. All right, so the Sam run through is a problem there. So you can start at a little star over here. If I'm a tackle, I got to worry about Sam run through. On an Oki. On an Oki look. I mean, uh, on, a, on a four three look. Four three stack look. All right, on a four three stack look. Again, I declare Mike middle. I stretch and run here. The one thing I didn't do over here on this on this under front, on this under front, I come up, I'm covered. Guard's covered, I got a 50 look over here, so it's Mike right. It's Mike right, I put here, put the guard on the mic, I got this, we shoot to the backside, we're off and run. So on that under front, it was Mike right. On stack, on stack, it's Mike middle. On the oaky front, on the pure oaky front, guards uncovered, guards uncovered, so it's gotta be an oaky. I'm here, here, I go mic right. Work that, scoop it back, lock it down. So it's mic right, mic right, if I got a 50 look, got a 4-3 look, it's mic middle. Got an even look, it's mic left. Okay? So we stretch run, if I get the spike to the three, I overtake it, guards up on the back. Three runs on the guard, I go get the back. 18 inch cut off, I run my good track. Now backside, big coaching point. If you want to stretch and run through the ass of that three cut, then he is not going to be there. I want you to run right where he's at. Because if that guard's doing what he's supposed to do, that three's going to close. Then you want to gain all the ground you got. I really tell that backside tackle, go to the middle linebacker to get the wheel linebacker. Run that angle to the middle linebacker. Run that angle to the middle linebacker to get the wheel linebacker. Okay? Right there. All right. All right, let's 
look if we got one back set. Those were all bosses. Those were all bosses or 48 and 49 with the pullback on the back side of the cut. Okay? Now, we get a one back set. Alright? We get an overlook. Alright, we got an overlook right here. Because we got a three technique. Alright? Now, we got one back set. Tailback's going to run to the ass of the tight end. We're about to take it out. He's still reading one to two. That's the tailback's read, one to two. But we don't have a fullback. We don't have that block. Safety just in far enough where that wide out can't get it. We're sitting here like this, right there. We're running it over at the tight end side. Now we're all okay. We still do it. We just take, put the tight end. If we do that, then the tight end is outside of the lease and block the safety. We're going to stretch, take it just like it's four wise, work outside breast to armpit. Now the center though has to declare Mike right. We're going to stretch, run our track. Three technique spikes, overtake, guards up. Three technique works out, I'm up on the back. 18 inch cutoff on the one, and I stretch and go to the imaginary middle linebacker spot to pick up the backside linebacker. There's gonna be some times you centers and backside tackles and guards, you're gonna come out here and that linebacker's gonna be running. He's gonna be ahead of you. You're gonna come out here to get him and he's gonna be ahead of you. Just flatten and chase his ass he gets there, you might get right there, you might get right there and be chasing him and that ball jumps back in behind you, kick his ass out and tail back run right off your back. So you just flatten and chase him. Now, if it gets to the point where I'm chasing him and his ass is way out there and I know I can never get him, then turn up field and go to level three. All right? But the same read here, the tackles, the tight ends out, tackles working outside breast to armpit. All right, now, here becomes a problem area. Problem area. Problem area we get is that a lot of times we'll get a three technique, we'll get a seven technique, and a backer, strong safety's out of dicking around, boom, and now we're going to get a two man. Two man game here. All right, stretch. 18 inch cutoff ought to come clean. If I'm running the track, I'll hit him right in the mouth. If I stretch to run my 18 inch cutoff, he loops out. I will give me free onto that backside back. If I stretch to run that track through where he's at, and he loops out, I'm gonna run right into him. So we'll be in good shape there. We'll be in pretty good shape on that backside. All right, now. What we've got to do here, if the tackle does not make a call, the guard is working with the center. He's working outside breast to armpit, center to it, and trying to get off. But what happens is when they spike that seven technique down inside, that number one read, when they spike him down inside, that tackle steps out and he'll lose him, has to come back. A lot of times that guard gets pinched off right there. That guard gets pinched off, he's going in, and the guard can't get out. The guard can't get out, and that backer runs over the top and he's free. That's what they're trying to do, that's what they want. All right, now what do we do? If this tackle, if this tackle does not make what we call an overcall, this is our overcall. Over. If the tackle does not make the overcall, and he steps out there and that guy spikes, he's got to wheel back and try to hook up on him and take it. If you didn't call that guard over there, Wee, then you got him man. He spikes, you got to take it. All right, now, if he makes the overcall, if he makes the overcall, over, 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 now, the, the tackle's going to stretch and come off. If that guy spikes, he doesn't worry about it because now the guard is stretching and looking for him. He spikes, the guard picks him up, the tackle goes up and gets the backer, the center picks up the three, we kick out the strong safety and that'll be a whole lot easier to drive the damn truck to. 
There's no more beautiful sight in the world than that three and that seven spiking down in there and you picking them some bitches up when we're out to shoot. But that's an overcall. An overcall is a three man gain, a three man pickup on the front side. It's like the back side of the triple on its front side. It's front side right here. Over. It's a three man gain. Or a three man pickup, basically. Three man pickup on the front side. We've got triple back here with the three man pickup back side. Over is the three man pickup with the center front side. Got to make the over call. Mainly against the over defense. Against the three technique and seven, or it could even be a one and a seven. Anytime we'll study film enough to know if them sevens are going down in there. All right? Uh, any problems with the under front? A lot of times we'll get the shotgun and we'll get the under front. All right. And he's walked off or whatever. Or he's out here covering a wide receiver. We're going to get him on him. Push off on that. All right. Here, 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 shoot, call, go. Just like we did when we was in the eye formation. This is the beauty of the thing. We can be in the gun, the eye, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't change us up front. The only guy that changes is the center has to shotgun snap the ball back and do what he does. All right, now, if we're in a one-back set, though, and all of a sudden they bring that safety down, Put that backer on the line of scrimmage. We have no running play. We can't run the ball over here now because we're a guy short. We don't have enough blockers. We don't have enough blockers to block this thing. So now we're going to check it. We're going to check it and come back. Check open, check open, move the runner back over. Come back across. And now we've got a stretch here. Stretch here, reading one to two. Now the center's got to make a gang call. We got to make a gang call, running that track, telling that guard to come on. The tackler's got to go. We got to see if we can get it off. All right. Now the only way we'd be able to run the ball over there to that side on that under front is if we go two back, two back gun. Shotgun back, shotgun. Now we're now we're still in pretty decent shape. Because basically all we've done is take our tight end and put him back here in the backfield. We'll still treat this guards uncovered. We treat that like a 50 defense stretch outside breast to armpit. Deuce me, run that track to that back. He spikes, me takes over, turns it into deuce you. We're working that. I'm stretching hard as hell working that. Got a shoot call on the backside slip. We got a shoot on the slip. And I got a hard reach on that guy right there. Running back comes across, takes the handoff, reads one. If one widens and jumps on that, guards up, he'll stretch it to this point right here. Now this running back's gonna take one read step. Take one read step, one read step. Go block that outside linebacker. Just like the tight end did. Boom. If that works out and I got this hooked up, the back will stretch it, stick it in there. If that thing spikes, he's gonna stretch it, stick it out there. If it runs like hell and the nose runs like hell, he's gonna stretch it and he jump cut behind the nose. Alright. So the big blocks are still getting this backside cut block on this and getting that linebacker. So for us up front, there's no change. It's just like it was in the eye formation. All right. Basically, the oki is not that much different than the under. Only in one back set, if you have a one back set and they run pure oki with backers on, we've got no running game. Cannot run the ball. We cannot run the stretch play. We don't have enough block. 
So we're, we're screwed right now. So now they, they're going to force us to come back in here and put another back in the backfield. Now we can run our offense. Now we can run our offense. Either way, because we've got to have somebody for number four. Zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we've got to have a blocker for number four. All right, right there. So we want to run either way. We want to run stretch over here. We stretch, work outside breast, armpit, deuce me, stretch, look for a spike. Spike doesn't happen. I go get back. Scoop back, scoop out here to get the back. Cut off, stretch one, go by the back or come across, take the hand off, read it. One goes in, ball's there. One works out, stretch it and take it. One works out, nose guard run, stretch it and jump cut. So it's the same, same blocking scheme on that as it was front side. Now you get a stack look. They put seven in the box and stack. We got to go Mike Middle. Mike Middle. On that oak you front now, you go whichever way you're declaring. If you had this right here, and we decide to go right, it's Mike Wright. Because we're putting the back here, there, guards up on that, we'll scoop it back. So it's Mike right. If we decide to check Opie, check Opie and come this way with it, we'll go Mike left. All right? Right here. We're going to go Mike middle. Working on that. Outside breast armpit. Run my track. He spikes. We work to the mic. One read, step, go, work through to Sam, get the cutoff on the one, run to the mic backer, get the wheel backer, we'll read him, stretch and run. We ought to have a decent play. We ought to have a decent play. Even though they got seven in the box, we can still pick it up with our block. Okay? So that's the stretch play against over under Opie and Stack. Over, under Opie and Stack. You get the one back thing, the one back stretch. Nothing changes against Oki. Still reading one to two. Now the tight end took that running back's place in the gun. Declared Mike Wright. Stretch it and run it, scoop it back, lock it up, run it right there. Again, reading this. I get that hooked up and that widens, the ball's going there. We make that block, stretch, and hook him up, he widens, the ball goes there. If that runs and works, I jump cut back. If that runs and that runs hard, I press it and jump cut behind that. That's how simple this thing is. All right, the under front was the same way. We went over that backer. We shoot the backside here, uncovered, treat it like an oaky, deuce me. Boom, guard deuce me, he spikes, I take it. We do it the same way. We do it the same way. Back still reads. Same reads he had, one and two. All right. If we do it against the stack, if we do it against the stack, we're here, there, there, here, 18 inch cut off, run it to there. Still reading one to two. One works out, stick it in. 
One spike, ball's out. One works out, two runs like hell, cut it behind two. And we got enough people to block everybody. So that's basically your assignments on the stretch play, the outside zone, or outside zone stretch play. Uh, we'll get the zone play.